Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about two great runners today. One of them was INO and the other one was EKSO. And we're going to start off with INO. I want to take you straight to the website. I have a beautiful website. Have shareholder services here all about INVO. Tells you what you need to know on their pipeline right here. Their S. EC filings, the news releases, and let's look at the news releases and wonder why this stock ran so good here lately. I think it's because they received a $71 million contract from the U.S. Department of Defense to scale up the manufacture of Selectra, smart device and impairment of Selectra 2000 for COVID-19 DNA vaccine. So that sounds very interesting to me, and the stock will show you here in evidence how good stock this ran. But these are the two we're going to talk about, and it's going to be INO and EKSO. And they both great runners today. You see they broke, broke after hours, called in the room. So we'll go straight to INO. We're going to try to find different supports on this thing. Another thing about INO today that probably, you know, threw a lot of us off, and that was that... Um, they're going to, uh, they're bashing the Robin Hood traders, making fun of the Robin Hood traders. And we'll bring that little news article up here. And it'll become, uh, this is from Centron. They came out and tried to bash it, thinking the stock would come back down here to 14 bucks in the long run. And once they called this out, the stock actually bounced up. So I think they just, kind of pick on stocks that have great breakouts and so we're we're spotting ino maybe for a pullback after tomorrow maybe have that initial little breakout or maybe even pull back pre-market so let's look at it right now i'm thinking your lowest support is going to be got to be this boiling point right here right around the 30 21 area you see it had that upward channel and then it had that breakout um and then we had we've had three different stair steps and then we had another breakout here so maybe that first support's going to be right down here right at the 30 27 area and I always look for like a 50 percent retracement but let's look at the I can't really see much on a 20 days if I pull up the 20 day you know I had this little breakout resistance right here at 1523 and once that happened she just been off to the races in the past three days we had this big spike into after hours which was a very beautiful big breakout. So we're going to put that first support right down here. Let me magnify this up a little bit so I can get this pretty precise. I'm thinking about right there. 31.32. Then you got 30.21. And we'll go back to that five day again. We'll draw us another little support area. This is going to be a little channel of support right in here. This consolidated area. That's going to probably be your third support. And if it runs into that 200, that'll probably be a good place to maybe get in the trade. The low possible strong support is going to be down here at 25.33. And then this other breakout that we had down here at the 21.94 area. But resistance to break. If she decides to move up more tomorrow and this low float gets some... Let me see the float on this thing, too, before I go spouting off anything. I always like to go to Finviz. I'll type in INO for the float. Mm, it's a pretty good-sized float, $154 million. So we, it's just running off news and volume right now. So we'll go ahead and break this down and go back to INO, and this is how we're going to call it out. Whoops. We've got possible first support right here at 3146, 3021, and then that third one here at 2861. If that doesn't hold, we could drop down to this lower channel of support, and that's going to be here at 2521 and 2635 with a resistance to break up here at 35.57. So those are the different supports. And let's go ahead and talk about the next ticker that ran real well. And so that's INO. CentOS thinks it's going back to 14. If it does, you'll get a 
and it drops all of a sudden you'll get a dead cat bounce if not it'll pull back to these other three supports and then kind of build a channel but we just got to kind of take it easy it is friday tomorrow but it had great news and i'm still going to be bullish on this and i'll watch it into next week i'm not in it right now so the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be EKSO. Let's pull up the website. I'm really excited about this company also. Esco NR Neural Rehab. And they got some real good news today. FDA approval. So let's go ahead and see if we can find that here. Esco Bionics receives FDA clearance. To market its ESCO NRTM robotic exoskeleton for use with inquired brain injury patients. So that's a pretty big deal, you know. It'll allow them to, to move around a little bit. And this is a beautiful little stock and a beautiful little run. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up and have a little look at it. I don't want to use that chart. We'll use this one here. EKSO. Let me see here something. Let me erase that, erase that, bring this down. And we had the big breakout down here from three bucks, and it just ran all the way up. So we had a good 300 and some percent gainer on this trade. Pretty nice little trade, ain't it? From there to there. So we got to kind of figure out, we did have a descending pattern. We did have a descending pattern, and and you can see that right here. And then it had that big breakout after that pattern, after it found this previous high that we had right down here. You see what I'm talking about right there? I talk about this a lot in the room. When you do have like a little pullback, and then you have the breakout of the double top, and it runs up and creates another double top. You could have a pullback to that major support level and that major support level was this previous high we had here at open and you see where it kind of split right there too we did pull back to that top line and then again we pulled back to that channel again and then we had the big breakout but always remember when i make these channels i use them with the bases of the candle now i didn't use this base but i used the ones back here previous and you see how it pulled right back to that base there let me show you what I'm talking about. We had the initial breakout with the four bottom here. Descending pattern. Then she had the breakout and she pulled back to this support level, which was that previous high. You see where I, I, cho I chopped it from right here and right here. And then we come in there and we hit that right there and we did it again in that channel. And then we had that big breakout after hours. So we've been lying this one. We're going to figure out where it's going to pull back to. We definitely know it can pull back to the triple top. That's here at 868. Then you're going to have another little channel right here at 929 to 949. Right there. Then you have that first support. It's going to be right here at 986. So if we break resistance, it's going to be this 1054. 1054. Four, I want. I'm not going to give it to me. There we go. Or this double top up here at 11.20. So let's relook at this again. Pull back to the triple top, maybe at 8.68 for a solid support. If that fails, then we go down here to these lower lower uh, section. If it does stop here and bounce back up, we could clear this resistance level of 9.86, and that's going to be a little difficult. But then she'll break out to 1120. And I'm bullish on this trade. This is the breakout that I've been looking for for a long time. So let's keep a good eye on it. 868 for a low support. Second support channel here at 929 to 949. And then that first one here at 986. If we can break this resistance here at 1054, we'll go to 1117 and maybe take this up in dollar increments. But, you know, again... 300% run, you got to kind of, and then I could always pull back to this 50% retracement right here too, where we had the initial breakout. So that's EKSO, and that's it for the aftermarket report. Always remember, I love stocks. We have our little Twitter link right here. You can hit that if you have a Twitter account. 
hit that follow button. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. We're affiliates with the Trade Exchange and we're Trend Spider. So, yeah, we got to, if you ever want to deal with them, just let us know. But she posts alerts in here all the time. So, I want everybody to have a great day. We also have our Twitter links on here, our Pinterest, and we have our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and it really supports our YouTube channel. And hit that like button. And everybody have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday. I love stocks. Thank you.